everyone and welcome to my channel and if you're new to my channel welcome to you so just a little intro before i get into the readings guys you know my book of answers those who've been following me over the last couple of weeks i've been using which i love and it's an old book i didn't realize that carol bolt did the book of literature i think the one was and another one called this one dun, 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 the movie book of answers oh, i'm so excited the literature wasn't, one hasn't come yet because it's coming from the States, but this one came from Germany and it's the um, original first edition. So I've got all the three that I'm going to be incorporating. This one is movie quotes uh, from all different films and what have you. So I didn't want to bring the poetic words in this week. I wanted to bring in, we'll look at the book of answers at the start of the reading and then at the end we will go into the movie book of answers and draw what it says in there. I just thought it was a bit different and I do like using these books. I think it's really natty for the star signs. So my lovelies, with that said and done, okay, let's get on with the weekly reads. I'm now going through reading for the lovely star sign of Pisces. So Pisces, what did I have in the book of answers? We're going to have a look in the book of answers for you this week and see what the starting messages from spirit out of here where are we staying where are we stopping even provided you say thank you oh provided you say thank you so a little message from spirit to say maybe you need to put thanks and gratitude out to the universe through your mindset okay as in sit there and think you know what Thank you, universe, for allowing this to come in. I'm thanking you for listening to me, for my wishes that I'm putting out to you. So I'll just be mindful, provided you say thank you. You can also be a reminder to say, maybe you need to say thank you this week to somebody who's sort of got your back or doing you a favour. So let's have a look what your overall energy is out in the cards then to sort of marry up with that. What else have we got for Pisces, please? What have we got for Pisces? Oh, two have flipped out. I've had two by two for the last couple of readings. It's happened to you as well. So we have peace, which is embrace your confusion. Let there be peace in not knowing all the answers. So you could be sitting waiting on some information at the moment and it's blue is about sort of emotions anyway so you could be worrying over something um meeting your problems halfway and it's just saying just sit wait and be pit let peace come in around you not to worry because sometimes we we don't get all the answers we need and it's like say just stop worrying and try and bring calmness and peace back in around the situation so the other card that comes out is magnificence and it says own your magnificence the world needs your brilliance and grace it can also mean for some of you that you've got to help somebody as well stop them from worrying and that's when your magnificence comes into it, as in you give guidance, you give help to somebody else. So it can work both ways. It could be somebody around you who's trying to ground you at the moment and stop you from worrying and stressing as well. But we've got that kind of an energy coming off straight away. So let's have a look what else is coming out for you. My lovely Pisces. What else have we got for Pisces, please? And it's balance. So there's something not sitting right with you this week, okay? You could be trying to do too much as well, juggling too much. It's also taking a risk, uh, a leap of faith this week as well. It 
but it's also giving me that message of <laughs> for some of you I was like you know what I really don't care I'm just allowing whatever to happen naturally one and four is five is a change there's a change coming in around you and it's like to say whatever the information is you've just got to accept it with open arms no use worrying over anything no use meeting your problems halfway just close your eyes and allow this change to come in Have a look what your inner psyche is feeling this week then. The wise woman of Wonderland. Integrity and compromise. So. I want to say don't get going down a rabbit hole either this week. The whole of this reading has come in about worrying over something, not having all the answers. And it's like saying you've got to accept that. Okay, accept it with open arms. Stop trying to juggle things, force things. Use your magnificence and brilliance to help others if it's to do with somebody else and not you. There's a compromise here as well in the situation. Your inner soul is saying you've got to meet a compromise and use your integrity regarding a situation that could have you just disappearing down a rabbit hole. It's funny, really. I look at this person who's sitting on top of a mushroom and a great big smile upon their face, and it's like to say, I'm not worrying. You know, it doesn't matter what I'm faced with, I am just sitting here and going to allow and work through it the best I can. I'm not going to chase the rabbit down the rabbit hole. I'm going to use the magic within. Let's have a look what the unexpected is for you. What else have we got for... Pisces then. I feel like the 21st of February may be significant for some of you as well. And it's mending. This is the unexpected from the universe saying maybe there's a relationship, a friendship that needs repairing. Been a breakdown in communication. There's been a breakdown in communication. Repairing a situation this week. You may be having to repair a situation. Making a compromise. Let's just have a look what animal spirit cards come out then. And we've got the alchemical sign of earth and it's the horse with the alchemical sign of fire and it's the tarantula. The horse is the spirit you need to be. I'm going to change these around that way. I feel this is the energy that you're in. You're in this tarantula energy of getting yourself caught up in a spider's web for no apparent reason. Okay. And it's a warning sign because I look at the red in that card. And it's saying you need to be more free spirited, turn over a new leaf and just let the wild side of you take control. Um, learn to be a free spirit. Learn to, as it says, you don't need all the answers. Don't put restrictions on yourself, like tying yourself up in this spider's web. Let's have a look what's coming out at the end of the week then. I feel like that one there for you. And it's core. Go with your gut feeling. Okay. Do 
Go with your gut feeling. Release all this nervous energy and tension that some of you may be feeling. Because whatever on the outside, it, it affects our inner. So if we're worrying and stressing, then it starts to make us feel sick and nauseous. Okay, so allow all this to become out and protect your protect your soul really from being a sponge and absorbing all these negative energies. So let's have a look at your messages from your spirit and angel guides. I feel like that one there for you has flipped out. And it's got relationships. Relationships are just mirror images of your own life, how you feel and treat yourself as well as how you react and respond to different situations and people around you. Be aware that every relationship is an opportunity for soul growth. So it's all about relationships this week. It's about your own relationship with yourself as well, trying to get rid of this nervous energy, this worry for some of you or helping somebody to get through this this week. Okay, that's why Spirit have brought that card out for you. I'm just going to grab this other book I was mentioning, um, Movie Book of Answers, and just see what quotation comes out for you to finish this reading then. Frankly, my dear, don't give a damn. Oh, <laughs> Pisces, how apt. How apt when I said to you, didn't I, on this card. I've got to grab it again. It's quite funny. Um, okay. Basically saying, didn't I? Don't worry about it. Just open arms. Just <laughs> it's come from Rhett Butler. Gone with the wind. Gone with the wind, Pisces. That's how we've got a roll on this occasion. So yeah, frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. Okay. <laughs> so please take that stance of attitude this week. Okay. And by doing so, you will probably get some of this back in. All right, my lovelies. So don't forget to check out your moon and rising signs. I'm still laughing about that. Um, check out your moon and rising signs. And until next week, you take care of yourself. Bye then. <laughs>